Hey, what's going on, everyone? So I just got done reading Seven Secrets number seven. Um, it's been, what, two months since the last issue, number six? Uh, so if I can remember correctly, Casper and a whole group of um, holders and holders and keepers, I think that's what they're called, keepers, um, they were running away through a portal that was opened with one of the cases. Um, and while they were going through that portal, Casper got lost and he was being chased by these like white demon looking things. They had little sharp teeth, things like that. Um, and that's where it left off from what I remember. Um, this one opens up with <clears throat> Casper's mom, Eva, Eva or Eva. You can, you can pronounce however you want. I'm going to say Eva, but Eva and Faulan are looking for Casper in this place, which we find out that it's called the uh, fairy, this whole land that you can see here on the, on the cover here. Yeah, there you go. Um, it's called Faulan. No, I'm sorry. Faulan is the guy. Fairy. Um. And then it is revealed that Foul Line has been here before. He's like, you can get lost here. You know, you don't want to get lost here. Uh, so it's like, why? Why has he been here? Um, then we go into Casper still running away from these little demon-like creatures. Uh, and, and at first I'm thinking he's running away for his life. He's scared. He thinks he's going to get, I don't know, eaten, killed, tortured. Who knows? But he's running away for his life, right? Um, but... Mad respect for him though, because he still has that case on the back, just like in that cover. He still has it on his back as he's swimming towards an island that he sees. Uh, he says that it feels like he's been swimming for days. But either either way, life is in danger. He still has that case. He he had not let it go. So that was really cool of him. Uh, just a little small detail. Um, and then as he's finally like he feels like he's he can't swim anymore. He starts going under the water. Um, and he's about to die. And then out of nowhere, there's like seahorse, which are called Selkies. Selkies, uh, one of them saves him. And, you know, he's really sarcastic. He's like, what are you doing? Do you think you can just like evolve while you're underwater? Do you think you can breathe? Uh, if, if so, if not, then like grab onto me and I can help you. You know, I can, I, I can take you there. <laughs> and uh, so he grabs onto this Selkie, takes him to the land, the island that he saw that's called uh, Hybrizel. And he discovers that, that he was actually raised there. Those those demon things caught up with him. And they're like, we're not trying to hurt you. We're not doing anything. We don't care about the case. So that was the other thing. Um, Casper running away for his life. He was actually, he reveals that he's running away to protect the case. So he doesn't even care about his own life. He's protecting that case. So that that's really awesome. Um, he's ready to fight. And they're just like, no, we don't, we don't care about that. We're, we're here for you. We're not trying to hurt you. Um, we raised you and you were raised on this land. It should be familiar to you. And so then uh, we start getting some flashbacks of him being raised uh, by these two creatures. I'm still not really sure what they're called, but this is where we find out that Falana is the one that took him there. So they are. It's weird because I know that it took a case being opened to go to this land. And as I, if I remember correctly, they don't open these cases very often. So it. I'm just like, well, okay, so you're just going to open this case any, whenever you want. Uh, obviously, 15 years ago, he was there. They took him uh, to be raised for, for a short time uh, by these creatures. So, And, th and that's how we find out Falon was there. So that's cool. Um, Tajana. Tahana? Tajana? I'm going to say Tajana. She's the, you know, the, the main lady, the mother of Anon she is feared by these creatures so like I, I knew she was a badass i knew she, like I've, I've seen her in the other books she's a complete badass but the fact that these demon-like creatures that said like oh i've seen other creatures that that should be feared i still fear tajana more like that's, that's just incredible i more respect for her i love her she's straight to the point uh don't don't mess with her her way Highway, I love it. Anyways, they fear her. Um, as they're going back through like the whole flashback, you know, they get to a point where Casper is on a cliff as a child, as like a little like preteen, I would say maybe twelve years old. Um, and he's like, I've never been here before. And he's like, Well, you, we didn't think you were ready before. You are now. Keep going. Uh, take the full path. And then it reveals them 
to be in, in actual time and, and Casper's fully grown to where he is right now and he's actually just walking off a cliff they push him off at this point I was thinking oh so all those flashbacks that we were having and stuff they were fake they they uh, were fabricated by these demons maybe that's like an uh, power that they have or something but I was wrong unfortunately because um, then you know uh, Casper's mom Eva she sees Cliff about to fall off she yells for them she's about to fight or oh, she is fighting these creatures because they pushed him and then it turns out that he's fine he he made his way back up from the cliff who knows how but and he's like hey guys I, I remember everything thank you so much so obviously the, the the memories weren't fake is what I'm trying to get to and that's that's pretty cool um, except for the fact that they pushed him and he even says that he's like you guys have always treated me so well up until you pushed me off a cliff so I, I wonder what's going on there why why they even pushed him off the cliff um, but they do give Casper his sword back that he had when he was a kid uh, so now he has that new sword that you can see on the cover there uh, and he then they Eva and Falon uh, take him back to be reunited with the rest of the group they're so excited to see him they thought that he was uh, lost or dead who knows what the big bully guy I can't remember his name he's blonde but he's just like I'm really happy you're back but I'm not gonna hug you <laughs> so it's, it's a sweet moment uh, and that's just how it ends the group gets to the portal that you can see in the cover here uh, they get to the portal and they're about to walk through and they're gonna it's gonna take them to the catacombs I'm not sure what that means um, but it's good it's a good return to this book um, kind of explains like it's really really truly showing Casper as a protagonist almost uh, I mean he's obviously the protagonist but it's truly showing him you know he's beating he's beaten kings when he was 12 years old or I don't know how old he was um, he uh, he's eaten palaces is one of the things um, slept on hills so you know he's truly a different being uh, he's he doesn't have a, a regular upbringing um, but we already knew that even without this right you know he's trained with the with the holders and the keepers um, but it's a good book Tom Taylor did a great job Daniel the the nucleo the nucleo oh man I'm, I'm butchering that anyways the art was amazing in this um, I'm excited to see what comes up next I think the next issue if they don't they don't talk about Anon um, then they, they should definitely talk about it in issue 9 but I want to know if he's still um, captured by that whoever whoever captured him that female um, if he's still locked up or something like that um, I want to know what's going on with the with the with Tajana and where they're going that's that's the other thing like where are they going what kind of safe safe house like you thought that the place that they were going before in the last issue was a safe house and they got blown up a lot of them died so where are they going now um, are they gonna get those secrets back that's another question uh, the secrets that they revealed in in the last issue that one of them got blown up obviously that's something I feel like it happens every time you open it explosion and then it closes itself but who who grabs that briefcase you know is it still is it just hanging around there or or did that group the the antagonist group whoever survived did they did they get that secret basically um, a lot of questions but this was a good introductory I'm glad that's back so we'll talk about it soon in another month uh, let me know what you thought of it uh, if you agree with any any of the opinions that I've given um, if you have any theories of your own please let me know other than that hit that like and subscribe button please uh, real heroes remember this real heroes don't forget to share this this video if you liked it share it with your friends share it with your uh, nerd friends and um, I'll be back here with more see you guys later